Well, we are joined now by Nolan Now reporter Sean Bailey for this week's Tuesday Tips. Last week, we asked you for the best tips on or most creative kids' birthday parties that you've been to. Have you been to any? I really was trying to think about it. I was like, man, I can't remember. So I guess it wasn't. You, you know, know, I was made so sad the other day. Uh, <laughs> I, I read or saw this thing that basically said kids don't really remember Their the birthday, birthday parties. They're they're more likely to remember trips you take them mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I do a lot of cool birthday <laughs> parties really for the do. kids. But we, we got some really cool ideas uh, from our viewers. And I remember one from when I was a kid that was, um, it was a backwards party. Oh, wow. And everything was like upside down. It was like a backwards day. You remember backwards, yeah, backwards day? backwards day, yeah. It was like that, but it was a, a kid's birthday party. So we all wore our shirts inside out and the cake was upside down. It was it was really silly. I like that. <laughs> it was cute. Auntie Sean is going to be taking notes for <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> well, we got some good tips from yeah, our Yeah, we viewers. have some great tips. This first tip is from Shannon Griffin Bordelon. She says, we rented a streetcar for my daughter's seventh birthday. So much fun. Oh, I bet that was was I fun. bet so too. So you could ride cutesy. it all the way down to to the the aquarium and yes. the insectarium, or yes. go get beignets or mm -hmm. something like that. And then you can also like decorate the inside of the streetcar as well. Yes, if they still have that policy, you can decorate the inside of the streetcar. Bring on like food. Uh, even if you wanted a, like a DJ or some music. What? Like, yes. So wait, this is now an adult birthday it party really in the making. <laughs> I love that idea. Well, we got this one uh, from Tamiko Galtier said, I designed a, a Wizard of Oz themed birthday party in our backyard. She had a yellow brick road with games and things at the end. And at the end of the rainbow, they had a Wicked Witch pinata. Okay, I love that. She said they had a, a themed cake and themed favors and that sounds like a real, she said the birthday girl was Dorothy. Oh my gosh. Which I thought I love sounded that. really, really cute. I hope she wore her um, her red shoes. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> uh, but so she, cute. she remembered fondly doing that one for her daughter. I love that. So we have another great one. Sally Arno sent this one into our email. She says, when my brother was five years old, I took him to a party where a magician entertained everyone. He mesmerized the adults as well as the children. His illusions were just that intriguing, the best children's party I ever had to attend by far. Okay. I know. A, a magician. I like that. Magicians are fun they for are everyone. Fun. Yeah. Okay, so with this last one was from Alexis West. She said, my favorite was at Carousel Gardens. And there was another lady who said, you know, the City Park Amusement Park. So that wasn't the only one that said that. A lot of folks have a lot of fun out there at City Park. The girls have been to several parties mm -hmm. there at both Storyland and the amusement park. And it's always fun. It's so fun. And I still enjoy a lot of those rides as an adult as well. I was about to say, it's nostalgic yeah. for the parents, too. Well, we were saying, I throw, <laughs> I try to throw good parties. I'm no expert, but we did throw a Frozen-themed birthday party for the triplets this weekend. Today is their actual birthday. My babies are three, oh, Sean. Oh, happy birthday to the babies. These are some old uh, pictures from the day they were born and, and just after while they were in the NICU. That was one of their first pictures all together. First time I held them oh my God. all together. And I have to tell you, those NICU nurses are angels. Like. It was such a process with all the wires and things that they were connected to. I had to sit at a certain spot in the room so that we could get the three babies on my lap without disconnecting any wires. Oh my gosh. It was a process. Yes. But look at them now. That's uh, the snow machine for our frozen. Oh, I love party. that. I love the snow machine. The girls were so excited for their cupcakes. Um, we sing happy birthday to each one individually. Mm -hmm. um, and they are so sweet when the other ones turn. They would, you know, hug each other mm. or look at each other. It was just really, really sweet to watch them. Uh, not only that they individually are growing up, right. but that they're growing up, you know, kind of as this, this triplet set, their little sisterhood yeah. bonds are growing as well. So I love that. Happy birthday to oh, my babies. Oh, happy birthday. And I am requesting the snow machine. Bring it out again for the for the holiday. Have Husband, a holiday party. Have a holiday party. Kyle, do you hear Sean? <laughs> Sean wants us to use the snow machine again. <laughs> He's like, you're never going to use this thing again. I'm like, yes, we will. Please use it we again. We will, I promise. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Well, we love sharing your tips, so keep them coming this week. We want to know about the, the carpool. OK, guys, school's back in session. Veteran parents out there, we were talking about this in the newsroom. We want to know what are y'all doing at carpool time? How are you prepping the kids? Because we got to keep it moving. Oh, yeah. We, we want to know your tips for carpool. Share them with us on Facebook, Instagram. Email us at nolanow at fox8live.com. 
Tune in next Tuesday. We're going to be sharing all your good carpool advice with everyone.